Yo, so we are going to make a kind of sad boy type beat. Think XXX Tentacion, think Juice World. Maybe it has some louder vocal vibes like Kid Leroy. So think that vibe. Um, I used a loop from a website I love to use called Splice. I have a lot of videos about it. I won't go into it now, but Splice is a great place for you to download tons of amazing loops. It makes making beats super easy and fast. Uh, I have a link below where you can check it out. Use my affiliate link and I get some credits with it too. So I found this one and I was like, this is sick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it for you. Sick. I'm not even gonna play the whole thing. So what's cool about Splice is it shows you what key and BPM we're in. So C minor, 120 BPM. So I'm just gonna drag this in here. I'm gonna get the loop on it. So I'm gonna hit the yellow bar. You can also hit right here. You can hit the letter C on your keyboard, drag it out. Let's delete the first audio track and let's just hear it real quick again. What I'm gonna actually do right away is I'm gonna turn it down and I'm gonna actually EQ it. Um, quick EQ lesson. You can see that like a lot of the stuff fills the mid area, right? But what we wanna do is actually cut out some of the high and low end as well. Cause in the high end, we wanna give room for like vocals and stuff. Low end, we wanna give room for bass and kick. So yeah. Exactly. And it's still a little like harsh. So what I'm going to do is there we go. That's better. That's a lot better. It's, it's a little piercing. You know what I'm going to do? Unexpectedly, I'm actually going to find because I hear some frequencies that I do want to keep. So it's these frequencies I don't like. So I wanna soften those, but I like, see, I like those. Yeah, there we go, that's cool. All right, cool. So the other thing we have is um, what's great about Splice, because it tells you the key and BPM, you can go find other sounds similar to it and make sure that they're in the right key and BPM. Sometimes they don't have to be in the exact BPM, but like it helps. So I found a couple other ones that are in separate packs. And um, so let's just hear some of those. Definitely not gonna fit. Uh, that's D minor, C minor. Yeah, like I heard that and I was like, okay, this could be something, you know. Um, it's got that sad string vibe, so let's hear that. So we're going to call this guitar. We're going to call this strings. And I'm going to EQ the strings a little bit. Right? Take out a lot of... Yep, cool. I feel like... Now you're gonna notice here, like this one's C minor and it's 95 BPM, but we can work with it. Watch what happens. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually drag it out and make it be timed. So what I'm gonna do is when I do this, that just takes it like cuts it up, right? But when I get this cursor up and I hold the option button on my keyboard, see how it changes? I'm gonna stretch it. And I'm gonna let go. So that's why sometimes you can make something happen um, even if it isn't in the right BPM, as long as it's in the right key. So what I'm gonna do is mute the strings and just hear how these two sound together. I mean, it's insane. We're gonna call this Trap, Scape, Keys, Guitar. It's kinda got some keys to it. I'm gonna EQ some of this high end out, actually a lot of it. I'm gonna really bring, I'm really just gonna make it a soft layer.
I mean, this is sad, right? The strings almost sound really good, but... Let's, let's, um, pan these a little. Let me turn them up a little just for the purpose of the vid. Strings are going to be low because those strings are sharp. Like, you hear those, but I don't want to make them sound too, um, you know. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to play some drums now, and, like, usually what I do is I'll go, like, ultra beat. Um... Just because I know for a fact you might be able to use it, but because I'm actually making this a song that I might actually want to use, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and use something called Nexus. Now, Nexus, generally speaking, is a VST that you'll want to use for like... It has a lot of things. It's got guitars, keyboards, pads, plucks, synths. It's crazy. But it also has some really sick drums. And like, I just really like the drums in this. So let me just hear it one time. I mean, I know what kind of drums I want to hear. That could be cool. Never mind, that's not cool. Let's try those. Oh, and by the way, I pulled up this keyboard by hitting Command K. This snare is fucking fat. Let's do it. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I'm going to hit Q. Uh, I'm going to hit Command D. The reason I hit Command D, you can also go duplicate because I want to keep this exact same, uh, these exact drums. I don't want to use these kicks; they're too bassy. We look for some hats. Starting to get into some hats now. This drum pack is insane. I want these drums to be kind of crazy. I'm going to hit both of these. So here, this one, and then this one. I'm gonna hit them both at the same time, but what I'm gonna do is use note repeat. Um, note repeat, you go, here watch, I'll show you. So when you hit one note, right, it holds it once, but when I have note repeat, I can hold hold down the note, right? Um, and so watch how you do that. You go Logic Pro, key commands, edit, you're gonna search up note repeat, Select it, hit learn by key position, and type any kind of keyboard shortcut you'll want to use. So we're going to do these eighth notes first. Record. Yep. And I'm going to do the rolls after. Pause recording. Okay, sorry about that. I had a timer go off. Okay. So I'm going to just keep those. We're going to hit Command T, which is splitting those. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to select it. I'm going to hit Command C to copy it. And I'm going to make sure it's right here in the middle and Command V. Cool. So we got. So for now, we'll leave those. Um... Oh my gosh. I want to throw. Weesh. 
Yeah, okay, so check it out. Like, the way I do my rolls is so crazy. Like, I'll manually change them and play them. So um, let me just play them before I record just to hear how they're going to sound. I think these are going to sound great. That's all I needed. All right. Those are cool. I'm not picky about my rolls. So I'm gonna call the first ones hi hat roll uh, hi hat, and the second ones hi hat rolls. And I like to pan my hi hats a tiny bit, not a lot. This snare is killing me. It's so sick. Cool. We're getting somewhere. Um, let's go with a kick now. So now I will use ultra beat and with this, with splice, what's cool is I have a, I actually have a, a video showing you how to get, uh, drums from splice into ultra beat. Um, but I already have some drums here and I actually have drums from murder beats cause I know him personally. Ha <laughs> just kidding. Uh, Murda Beats is a super famous producer, if you don't know, and he has drums on Splice. Oh, these are gonna, this is gonna be cool. Nice little kick pattern. Yeah. No it. I want to do that. Cool. Let me just kill that last kick that I did. That kind of played it at the same time as the snare at the end. So let's hear that. No, I don't like it actually. Let me do. Here we go. Let me do it again. Let me do it again. Last kick, I, I kept doing that. Nice. And what I want to do is actually going to be crazy. So I'm going to hoe Command D. I'm going to hoe. I'm going to go Command D. I'm going to call it Clap. I'm going to actually layer my original snare with one of the claps from the Murder Beats one. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to drag it. I'm going to hold Option on my keyboard. That plus sign pops up. Let it go. I'm going to solo this out, and I'm going to pull up this scissors. Okay, so see how it doesn't play anything? So watch. Instead of selecting one or select all or Command A, I just hit the actual note, and it automatically selects them. And oh, yikes. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let me turn down. It's super loud. Uh... Uh oh, I dragged him off time. Whoops. Let me try. It's kind of funny. Like this clap sound, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I usually do not like that clap. I think it's a little overused, and I like bigger ones. But it sounds crazy to me. I don't know why, but I like that clap more than this one right now. It just feels like it. 
Hmm. Interesting. Here's what I'm going to do. I like the roll, so I'm going to select my original snare. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to delete those and those and even this, this last one. I'm going to keep these snare rolls. I'm going to go into my new clap and delete the rolls. So now this, right? Right? It's going to be like something like that. Um, wait, there was one. Hold on. I think it's these two I want to delete. One second. I just want to make sure I got everything right. And I'm going to get rid of that. Cool. And I think that's the one. Actually. And go here. And let's hear it. I like that more. I'm going to EQ this kick. Oh my God. There's way too much low end on that kick. Like, I mean, a kick is supposed to be having low end, but come on, man. Hi-hats are a little too loud. That last clap was messed up. I think it's supposed to be here, actually. Let me just click in here to hear it. You know what? And I don't like my kick pattern. We're gonna do the kick pattern again. That's cool. Let me just mute these. We're gonna throw in an 808, but I need to get my keyboard. Uh, change my mind. Let's find one in Splice. My bad, let's find one in Splice. Okay, super funny, like, um, I'm like making pasta at the same time as doing this. Um, and I told myself, I was like, dude, make this beat video tomorrow. Like you gotta make dinner. But I was like, I'm too obsessed with this shit, man. You know? So anyways, um, when I last left you, I changed my mind. I am going to use an 808 from splice. So we're going to actually go to, uh, no, let's just type 808. Just go 808. Um, Let's just find one and we're going to go, what are we in C minor, right? C minor and the BPM is 120. This is the cool thing about Splice. You can just go and search. It has a, a desktop app as well as a website. I want to find something like that's going to really make our hearts feel it. Like, you know, I know that sounds silly, but like something like that, that'll slap. That could be cool. I don't like those rumbling ones. No, I want like a hip hop one. Okay, hold on. Genres. Let's go with trap. Maybe. That might actually be slapping too. Okay, let's let's go with this one. Just hear how it sounds. Okay, I'm not set on it, but let's hear it. Okay, I like it a lot. But what I want to do is actually, sorry, I want to change my kick pattern based on it because I actually like it. Here we go. I'm gonna try to match it up a little bit.
Let's hear that. I don't know. Let's, uh, EQ it a little bit. Take some of the low end out. I know you probably don't see producers take low end out here, but this low end from like honestly 40 to 20 is not necessary. I like this. You know what's super funny? Like, it's so crazy. Like, I don't know if I love... I like the hi-hat. It's the pattern, but I don't like the sound anymore. So, drag those up. I'm going to mute the originals and keep these in there. I'm going to take try to take some hi-hats from Murder Beats. So, I deleted the first one. You saw that, right? Like, I hit boom and just deleted because we were layering hi-hats. And... Um, and let's just like, okay. Yeah, like, let's see if they can layer well together. First hi hats. And again, like honestly, same thing. So check it out. Take the hi-hat rolls. I'm gonna take, these are the second hi-hats. I'm gonna duplicate it. Hi-hat rolls, bop, bop, copy. Bop, diddy, boop, bop. That's a real word, right? Bop, diddy, boop, bop. Come on. Drag them down. Where are my hi-hats? Where are my hi-hats? Where are my hi-hats? Is that gonna be the chorus for this song. Where are my hi-hats, hi-hats, where are my hi-hats? Just kidding. Chill, dude, I'm joking. Help me out. So we're going to go these hi-hat rolls two, and we're going to call these hi-hat one. Now watch, this is kind of a fun little trick. Um, a lot of producers don't teach stuff like this on YouTube. I don't know why, because they suck, but layering. I'm gonna EQ hi-hat one. And hi-hat two. This is a bit harsh. Like every time that hi-hat hits, it's like poking you in the mouth. Yeah, I'm hella mad because I just don't think hi hat one sounds good anymore. Nah. See a hi hat one. Let's do the rolls. I kind of like those together. Like those are fine. So let's like EQ the hi hat rolls one. Right. Those are that's fine. Take out some of the high end or the low end and the high end. Yeah, that's cool. Now it's just a layer. Take out some of the high end here, but not as much as the other one. I'm just going insane making this beat really fast because pasta's beat. Let's turn the hi-hats down. Nice. This is super dope. All right, I'm going to do something that I don't care if you like it or not type shit. Ah, let's just keep it with splice. I was going to play something. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just go and splice again. <laughs> uh, splice, so what I'm hearing is sort of, like I wanna hear a pad. So I'm just gonna type pad. I'm gonna go key, what are we, C minor? I just 
just think the pad would sound really cool. And then we're gonna go 120 BPM. Keep it playing and then we'll play some pads. Isn't it funny how like I'll literally play less than a second and I'll know if it works? Yeah, that's what I wanted. Let's mute the drums and hear how the melody sound. Let's let's just hear this one. I played it for two seconds. Oh my god, bro. That's Cashmere too. Cashmere is a really famous producer. That's the lead. Damn. I feel a little bad because, like, I feel really bad because, like, that's lightweight better than the other stuff I had. That's sick. It's like a brand new beat. Let's EQ that a little bit. Oh, my God. That's so tight. Let's hear how that sounds with our lead guitar. And let's hear how it sounds with this. <laughs> That's sick. That's sick. I cannot. I'm going to try to record. So, okay. This is weird. So like, obviously you see I'm doing this like screen recording shit. Let's command S actually. You can obviously see what I'm doing like screen recording. Like that's how I'm making this video. Um, but I've never, uh, I've never, what if I name the song XXX juice? Sad song, C minor. I've never recorded vocals while also screen recording. I've never done that. So we're gonna arrange it like that. Ooh, just thought of something. I think this is gonna need an open hat. Is that the timer? Are you serious, bro? That's not good, it's been 10 minutes. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Damn, that's, that's nutty. Let me, oh God, it's been 10 minutes. It means the pause is ready. Damn it, I need a hi-hat. Quickly! And I know where the hi-hats are though. Uh, Where's the nav one I have? Nav hats. God dang it. I need to get serious about this pasta. Yep, there we go. Uh oh, uh oh, hold up. It's recording on the vocal track too. I don't know how to do that. I don't have vocals quite yet, but I will in about two seconds. Don't you worry. All right. Here we go. Nice. I love these open hats. They just. I just think they make the beat jump. Just. Open hat. All right. Vocally, like. Pff, shit, I don't even know. Uh, this is getting into some other shit. Talking about. Goddamn. Bro, I don't even know, like. Fuck. I don't even know how this is going to go with, like, the the whole. I'm gonna turn that shit up. Dude, I don't know, like. I don't know how this is gonna go with, like, screen recording and shit. It's like, we're gonna find out. I don't even know what I'm gonna say yet. Hold on. Run it back again. Just one more time. Had to do it all on my own. 25K dead took too long. Had to stay strong, but I wanted to be gone. Wanted to be a king, but I used to be a pawn. Now I am.
That's pretty damn good though, bro. Let's hear that real quick. Let's hear it from the top. Had to do it all on my own. 25k dead took too long. Had to stay strong, but I wanted to be gone. Wanted to be a king, but I used to be a pawn. Now I am exactly who I said I'd be. Now Now, this is sick. I'm hyped. What I want to explain to is like, maybe what I'll do, bro, this would be fun. What I'll do, I will make another video recording, full recording of these vocals. Like really, this was dude, just straight reference track. But what I'll do is like, I'll do another one where I show you like how to set up the recording session, bounce the tracks out all correct, and then let's really properly record these vocals, all right? Uh, but thank you for watching this. If you are looking to produce music better. Like if you're a vocalist and you're really trying to produce your own music faster, if you want to make a complete, like look how fast I made this. If you want to be able to make songs super fast and get it done in like seven days, like make an entire track from scratch in seven days, then you should click below and apply to work with me. I'm actually doing coaching. Yes, coaching. I know coaching has kind of a bad rap to it, but uh, no, but I do. I am going to do coaching where I teach people how to make a hit song, right? Like this in seven days. So if you want, if that's full, right? Like we made the entire beat, got lyrics down. Um, I'm going to mix and master this myself, obviously. I'm going to show you how to do that in the program. It's called Rapid Fire Hip Hop Production. So if that's something you're interested in, click below and apply to work with me. I would literally love to work with as many people as possible, all right? Of course, like, subscribe, comment on the video as well, all right? Thank you so much for watching and uh, I will talk to you soon. Peace.